Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here to do um, a haul video. I have um, some makeup that I purchased um, earlier in the week last week or, or later in the week last week. And then I have um, a Sephora thing coming in that I thought was going to be here today and it's not, which I was really bummed about. But um, I have a Sephora order of two things from Cargo because I wasn't going to buy anything after this stuff. And then Lulad, um, anyone who you guys know I love on Twitter, she had tweeted that she had picked up some stuff from the cargo sale. If you don't know already, cargo on Sephora.com is like 50% off. And I think maybe at the Sephora store as well. I'm not sure. Um, I'm assuming they're discontinuing the line because that's normally what happens. Um, so I have picked up two things only. But once those two things come from Sephora, I'm officially not buying any makeup for a month. So you will not see any haul videos on here for at least 30 days. Um, and yeah. So we'll just get started with the stuff I bought. The first thing I wanted to show you was, I love um, Nylon Magazine. I think I showed you guys, like I have the Nylon Pretty Book. I just love Nylon Magazine. It's like, um, you know, indie, I guess you'd say. It's just good for like off the beaten path, like clothes, music, makeup, etc. And I think that although they are not a beauty makeup by any means, they do a really great job at featuring beauty in a different way than other um than other magazines they just kind of make you like fall in love with products like they write about it like a love story I don't know how to describe it but I love the way that they feature makeup in here and I always get like really good um ideas from like the the main cover the cover girls and stuff like that so um I had a subscription before a free subscription that I got and it had expired and I thought I'd be okay without it but I decided to get it or I was deciding if I should get it or not and then I saw um a feature like this that was like you can get, you know, a free, let me zoom in on my head, a little free makeup kit with um, the paid subscription. So I don't know if you can see the kit right there. As soon as I saw that, I was like, this is going to be um, elf makeup. Like, you know, if you know makeup, you know elf. That's an elf quad. You see they have like a purple, um, or a purple, a pink eyeshadow, and then like a kind of a, a light gray one, and then this quad that says nylon on it. So I was like, I know that I'm going to get an e.l.f. quad. They're probably going to put like a junky nylon sticker on it. But I don't care because I had been wanting an e.l.f. quad. And even if it was just a sticker, like having a nylon quad would be so cool. So that was like the seal of the deal. I was like, I'm definitely getting a subscription and I'm getting it because I get this free makeup. So then it came and I was really disappointed in it. This is what it came. It just came a regular e.l.f. quad, eyes, lips, and face, which is fun because I wanted it. But it would have been so much cooler I don't know if you could see it just as off. Yeah, it would have been so much cooler had it just had a nylon sticker on it. Like, I might even, like, DIY it or something. I might do something cute with this, but... Anyways, and then I opened it, doubly disappointed, because it's a lip frickin' palette. It's not even an eyeshadow palette, which makes me sad, and, like, maybe this is... No, that looks like eyeshadow, but... I guess it's a lip palette. Bums me out. I would have much rather had eyeshadows, but... It's fine. Um, I haven't even really used it. As you can see, I just kind of like put my finger in it to do a couple swatches or something. But So it comes with this sponge tip and brush applicator. And then the good thing about these, though, is that they fit MAC eyeshadows. So um, you could use this. And the one advantage this has to a MAC quad, besides price, is that there's a mirror. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I'll just read you the colors. I don't really want to swatch them, per se. So This one is Nude, Nude Blush. And that's pretty accurate to what it, what it is. It's just a nude kind of color. It's a little pinkier in person, I would say. That's the only difference. This one is called Icing. And it's just like an icy pink color. This one is called Guava. It doesn't look like Guava. Well, I guess it does. It's just kind of like a deeper nude kind of, not mauve, but I always want to say mauve color. And then we have this bright red color that's called Crimson. So yeah, I mean, I'm not terribly sad about this, but I am terribly sad because I really wanted a nylon quad. But it was free, so what are you going to do? Can't complain, right? Gratis. Then I picked up at um, my Walgreens. They were having Maybelline $3 off. Um, $3 off Maybelline stuff. So I just picked up one lipstick, um, the color Sensationals, because I know people love these. And I picked it up in Cinnamon Stick. Um, you could tell it's in like the browns or neutral family. I just have been really into like bronzy cinnamon colored um, lipsticks right now. And this one fits the bill. People love this. Um, 
lipstick. I know on YouTube everyone was like, these lipsticks are so amazing, you have to get them. You can't really see how bronzy it is, but you kind of get the gist of it. Um, but yeah, people were like talking about how amazing these were. And I have to say that I've only like used it like at the house, like I haven't worn it for a full day, but... I think that they're great in pigmentation, but the texture wasn't, I was not crazy about them, and so far I'm not as wowed as people have been yet, so maybe I have to like wear it for a full day and then, you know, assess from there, but yeah, I mean it was really cheap with the $3 off, so I'm not complaining. Then I had like a super craving for high-end makeup, and like, I don't know if this is just me or maybe all makeup addicts but like you know I have no problem buying drugstore makeup as you guys know or even like Mac which to me is you know middle middle of the road because it's like probably the cheapest of department store makeup you can get um, so I have no problem buying that obviously as you guys know haul after haul but sometimes you want like that top tier makeup you want your Chanel your Dior's your YSL's and you just get an itch for it so I was really like I want some more YSL stuff now my thing with YSL is I have a, a single eyeshadow of theirs that I was not impressed with um, for the price that you would, I, I bought it at All Cosmetics Wholesale, so I didn't pay the price, but the price that someone would pay for that, I don't think the quality of the YSL eyeshadow was worth it. And then the lipstick I think is the most luxurious, soft, silky, butter on your lips feel ever. However, if I'm paying $40, I don't want a lipstick that comes off literally in like 10 minutes. Like, the moment I leave my house, I have to reapply my YSL lipsticks. But I like the way they feel, and I've been fortunate enough to get them at really good prices. I th I've only paid full price for one of them. So, you know, I still like the brand. But I will say that if I am going to buy YSL, um, I've decided that I'm only going to get it at a discounted rate because I personally like the product but I do not love it and I do not think that YSL makeup um, is worth the price point that it is if it was even like Mac priced a little bit higher than Mac yes but not like almost $40 for a lipstick no it's not worth it in my opinion um the packaging is beautiful though and now that I've rambled let's get on to what I bought so I hit up beautyisrelative.com and allcosmeticswholesale.com and what both of those are is they're just basically like an electronic CCO they're you're gonna get high-end makeup at a discounted price they usually I think they buy like the overflow from other stores and then they resell it is how that works but um, I picked up two things from beauty's relative and then one thing from um, all cosmetics wholesale because I was comparative shopping between the two so and I think I'm getting this right because I might have gotten this wrong but the two things I picked up from beauty's relative is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now and it's um, the Rouge Pure um, Pure Lipstick in number 129, Rosy Plum. And this is what it looks like. And even though they had a picture, I for some reason thought it wasn't going to be this, like, severe. Like, this is almost a red lip. Um, but, I love, like I said, I love the way it feels and it's really pretty and all that. And this one, I think, since it's darker, the other YSL lipsticks that I own, um, the other two are um, Nudes. So since this one's darker, it leaves a little bit of a stain. It's not that bad, actually, um, as far as the wearing of it. But, yeah, I got it. I love YSL packaging, though. It's so beautiful, and it's reflective, so you can always see yourself, like, to reapply and stuff, so I love that. Then I also picked up from there this um, Quadrilumier 4 Color Harmony for Eyes in number 6. And I have been seeing this forever, um, and I just think it's super cute, and I like it. Um... The colors are getting kind of washed out. I don't know if I do that. There you go. So that's the colors that you get in there. You get like a teal kind of light blue color. You get a purple. You get a like charcoal little one in the corner. And then you get like an icy pink highlight color. The pigmentation is not that good. I don't think they're supposed to be like amazingly pigmented though. Um, the charcoal one is really pigmented. Because it's charcoal, I would hope. But, um, otherwise they're just almost duochromed, like they're so light, like, I don't know if you can see. They're just kind of, you know, they're not just, they're not like that amazing, but it has a mirror, which I love, and I like this. So I haven't really tried this on bases and stuff, but if I had paid full price for this, I would have been really effing pissed. So that's like what I'm saying. I just feel that YSL, you should really try to get it discounted, unless you love it to each their own and then from all cosmetics wholesale because i think either they didn't have it on beauty's relative or it was cheaper or whatever i picked up the blush um the touche blush i've always wanted um one of these i just liked the packaging 
there's a mirror on the top so I like that um, you know why it's all packaging whatever so it's one of these where like the product comes out from the top and then you just kind of rub it on your cheeks I'm wearing it right now um, the color is in number five but I don't know the name I'll like annotate it um, it's like a cheek stamp sort of thing like you can kind of see some of it came off right there um, I'll just reapply more. The problem with this though is, as you can see on my cheeks, it gets a little intense really quick and like a little, you don't have a chance to really blend it without more product coming out. So I feel that like this is supposed to be an on the go thing, but I still end up using a brush just to like even it out and stuff and smooth it out. But I still think it's great. I like the color. I really like this blush. It was very pigmented. It lasted for a good amount of the day. Um, and it's a really pretty color and it has like shimmer or glitter in it without being like obnoxious once it's on your face it's just really pretty so that was my haul um and i hope you guys are having a good one i'll probably come back and do the cargo one because i thought it was going to come today but that's just two things and then i'm not buying anything for a month so don't let me okay <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later have a good one bye